Kirby Star Allies has been data mined from the demo, and while we aren't going to spoil anything, there's still an interesting conversation to be had. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Gabe is here, and people blew the lid off Kirby over on Reddit tonight. And again, no spoilers. We are not going to mention anything that is covered in that data mine. Just know that it definitely discusses a lot. Um, it discusses the amount of content in the game. It discusses... It discusses the end game, it discusses the plot, um, and it discusses features, modes, things of that sort. Gabe, the first point here is, does this change your opinion on Kirby Sterilized, given that we were a little lukewarm after the demo? I think it resets my expectations. I was already like pretty excited for it, then I played the demo, got less excited. Now, with mm. this leak stuff, which I did see... I'm more excited once again, so I've gone back to my original level of excitement, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good uh, assessment. I would, I would say I fall similarly. Um, I am excited by some of the things that I read, and I am pumped by some of them more so than I was after playing the demo. And while I don't know, you know, it doesn't speak on like, oh, are, are, you know, is the difficulty any – does it get more difficult, which is my biggest concern – but I think based on what they've said there, I'm more excited and, and specifically more excited about paying full price for the game. Yeah, and you know we're treading a little too close to what like the content is. I want to get us away from that. And yes. uh, I wanted to start talking about the fact that all of this came because there's a demo. And going forward, Nintendo might be wary about putting these demos out because if data miners are going to come in here and you know leak all of this stuff, like it is unfortunate that... People are going to have to be careful with Kirby leaks, as, as silly as that sounds. If you're really into the franchise and you don't want anything spoiled for you and you're very excited for the game, the internet is going to be a dangerous place, I guess, because people are going to be openly talking about Kirby. Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of stuff on the Switch has been data mined. I mean, they did the same thing with Splatoon 2 in, in figuring out future updates and future weapons. They did it with ARMS. They even did it recently with Mario Odyssey and Outfits. I guess it's a bit of a different case when the game itself isn't out yet, and the reason this was exposed was because of the demo. Maybe Nintendo does say, you know what, pre-release demos aren't worth it. At the same time, though, how many people do you think are bothered or upset by this? You know, I mean, if, if, you're, if you're interested in seeking it out, you definitely can find it, and we've put the link in the description if you want to read it for yourself. But do you think that this, does it bother you know the, the majority of the audience or does it bother nintendo well it definitely bothers nintendo that this stuff is out there yeah I, I don't think that they want their products like spoiled like that like yeah yeah i mean there's no way it doesn't bother nintendo also bothers the audience there's people that don't want these things spoiled for them and the fact that it's just out there now for some people the temptation alone might be like a little too much and they're gonna go look mm. and then they're gonna hate themselves for looking <laughs> i suppose that's true yeah i guess i guess there's no real way to spin a data mine positively for Nintendo. Um, I mean, I would say it's positive because it made me more excited for the game. It, it brought you back to a, a higher level of excitement as well. But from a company perspective, probably not a good thing. I personally don't think this deters them from demos in the future, though. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to wait and see. It, it, it'll be interesting. Maybe they can be more careful about what like they put. I, I don't even know how that works though. Like. The, the, exactly. Yeah. How how they separate the versions or how they yeah um, protect themselves. You know, we have seen Nintendo crack down um, in terms of interaction with influencers and with press in, in recent months, and I wonder if this leads to an even you know a further doubling down. But I I feel like if they want to do demos, they're going to do demos, and I don't think this really. At the end of the day, yes, this is upsetting, but I don't think this like hurts sales and. Mm -hmm. You know, when when push comes to shove, that's what kind of matters. So if a demo is is beneficial for sales, data mind or not, it's beneficial for sales, and and therefore I think that's what they'll go on. They'll see how maybe maybe there's some metrics they can analyze in terms of how pre-orders or how sales were affected pre-demo, post-demo, and utilize that more as a barometer rather than ooh this this data mind stuff got out there. But again, you can go read it if you want. Um, I'm more excited. Gabe's more excited. I think you'll be more excited. Um, I recommend not reading it if you're planning on buying the game. But if you're on the fence. You know, it's out there. Let us know your take in the comments down below. Try to spoil anything for anyone else, please. We'd appreciate that. Um, and until next time, for myself and Gabe, Kirby Star Allies coming in 11 days. Very, very pumped to check out the full version, and we will bring you that coverage soon. Until then, thanks again. Switch Force 
out.